Hello guys, welcome back. And today I'll show you how you can make custom materials for your landscapes. There are many fun things you can do. For example, snow, ice, sand, more like rocks and lava. And I'll show you that today. So guys, once you're in your UEFN, we'll first create our complete materials that we want in our landscape. And then we'll actually make our landscape. And then I'll show you some handy tips as well. So hold up guys, big news. This Wednesday, we are dropping our newest and craziest system yet, Peace Control. These maps are perfect for improving skills and people definitely love playing these. We're giving you guys a 1v1, 2v2, 3v3 and a 4v4 version all in the same code. You can pre-order now on our Patreon until this Wednesday, January 8th for a total of 20% off. Find all the details on our Patreon. Link is in the description. Alright, now back to the video. To first make your materials that go into your landscape, just go to the content uh, drawer and then search up materials. And then click open materials and uh, go to landscape. And then in here in materials, uh, material instances, you'll find this one, customizable 01. Just right click on this one and create a material instance. And then we'll save this one. So we'll call this one, like we'll first make one with ice. So we'll call this one ice biome. Then we'll double click to open this. As you'll see, you'll have different layers. Um, I wouldn't recommend uh, messing around with the base layer. Just leave that one to be. Then we have a uh, layer one and all the way to, I think seven. So that basically means that you can only create seven custom materials. Also cliff, uh, you can change some things around here. Uh, yeah, it's pretty explanatory. Usually don't mess around with that. But so for layer one, you'll see that we can apply a base color, uh, some different settings, uh, the specular map you can apply, but I usually don't and also a normal map. So, especially for you guys, I created a whole folder called Material Pack. You can find this one uh, in our Discord. If you're a member there, you can download it for free. And I, it's just all different materials that I've collected over the years doing landscapes and stuff. So I have different ones. And yeah, these are the ones that I use the most. Ice, you don't have any good ice materials in the UEFN. So maybe we'll start off with that one. So uh, we have four types of ice here. Just import these five. Well, actually we'll only use the base color. This one right here, now the base color and the normal maps, you can also import just these two, but I usually import these five. So first we'll make a new folder real quick. And then in there, I'll import uh, these two images. Once we've done that, we can simply click this one on. So uh, normal texture that is in layer one in UEFN is uh, the mud, but I will not use any mud here. So I will override it with my base color. So just drag and drop it in there. You can change some of the tints. The materials that I'm giving you guys are pretty good quality. So we'll also change our normal map. This will give everything a bit more depth. The only thing that's not nice about UFIN is that you can't test it. So once you made your landscape in a minute, we'll do that. Once you fully made your landscape with your correct material, uh, you can, yeah, you cannot do any changes anymore to the different layers and the materials that are in those layers. So we'll first make our complete material and then we'll use that to make our landscape. So um, as we go for the ice biome, we'll also import uh, the other one. It's in the folder. Uh, so the normal one and then uh, sometimes the base color is albedo, but it's basically the same. So just import that into your roof in so you can use it. Um, this is our, yep. So in the layer two, we'll write over that mud. And then also here, the normal map. And then I'll do it for one more. So you guys can see a clear difference. And uh, for the ice cave walls, we'll search albedo and the normal map and we'll import that into our UEFN. And then simply drag it out. It's not diff more difficult than this. Um, once we did that, we can simply save everything and then we can close this. Then uh, we'll actually create our landscape. So I'll zoom out a bit and then I'll create my landscape. Uh, I'll make a new one. And then as you see right here, the material is set to the standard creative material. But if you want to actually use ours that we just customly made, just go over to ice biome, click on this one. And then you can mess around with the settings, um, like how many, how much detail did you want to be, uh, how many grids, how many squares and stuff. But you can add uh, squares later on. 
so no need to make this any final or, or something. Just important that the material is correct. So then we'll create this. So once it's created, we can go over to our paints and you'll see that we actually have our paints now. So these are all the materials that I just dragged in that are custom. Um, from a bird eye view, it looks a bit like it's all made of, of squares because uh, it actually is. But once you start to sculpt with it, actually, will not really notice it and it will do the job. Like maybe this one is uh, yeah, good for some details, some blue eyes, but I wouldn't use it for like the, the main ground. Then we'll probably use it, um, the normal one a bit more. As you see, I'm trying to paint over this, but layer three is actually, it's a different order than in Photoshop. Uh, layer three is the head layer. Just for the people that are not really understanding the layers, it's basically just the same as a pizza. So uh, as a pizza, you have the, the crust and you only see that when there's nothing on top. The layer two is the cheese then. Uh, and the layer three is the pepperoni. So the pepperoni will top everything uh, because of layer two. You will not see the crust and also because of layer three, you won't see certain spot of the cheese. If I paint right now, I paint over layer two, as you see, I paint over it. So to remove that, I'll just hit on my layer three and then hold shift and paint with uh, yeah, your left mouse. And then you'll see that it uh, is removing and I can fully paint, keep on painting. Just one more thing I want to mention to you guys is uh, for example, you're fully done with this uh, yeah, material right here and you want to move into like maybe like forest type of vibe. Um, I, what I usually do is uh, I go with a smaller brush, I go over some edges uh, and I make sure that this material, so layer six uh, I usually use, that it's also in uh, my other material instance that I'll make uh, for the other materials. So I'll just, uh, I can just create a copy of this. Yeah. I'll just create a duplicate of this and then maybe, uh, uh yeah, forest. And then in here, I'll put my other materials that I can use. You can also use the ones from the pack that I gave you. Um, and then just keep layer six, make sure that it's also in this one. So you can make a nice transition. If I just smooth it out a bit more, uh, to make it yeah more seamless. And then I put my other landscape right here. So again, you'll have to uh, create a new landscape. And what you can simply do is you can create it a bit more below uh, this one. So let's say just a tiny bit more below. And then I'll create it with my new material with my forest. And then for you, it will look like, oh, there's a clear gap gap between it, but I usually just sculpt it. So as you, you guys see, this is my second landscape and this is my first one. Just make sure when you're painting, uh, I'm trying to paint on this landscape right now. It will not work. Um, cause right here you have to select your other landscape. Uh, so right now, as you can see, I can not paint on this one, uh, but I can paint uh, here if it's actually on paint and not on smooth. Um, and you can simply hit double click with your left mouse button and then you'll automatically switch to the landscape and then I can paint here and I can make a pretty nice transition with the layer six. Um, so you really don't see it and then you can move on with your other material that you want. If you're like, oh, I want to expand out here as well, but I haven't placed one, no worries. Just make sure that you're on the right landscape uh, here as well. You can add other squares here as well. So these squares will basically be for my landscape tree right now. So that's the newest landscape I placed. Uh, and I can yeah paint here as well. That's basically a quick tutorial for you guys. Uh, as I said earlier, you can simply download the material pack of our Discord. If you're a member there, you can download it for free. And there you can find yeah, the sands, rock textures, also like lava rocks. Uh, that's fun to use with different effects in game. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Bye-bye.